Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to do a very monochromatic green look using some of my most favorite green makeup in my collection. I've been wanting to do a monochromatic series on my channel now and I finally have time to make that happen. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on indie makeup, so if that is what you're into, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining this little family but with that being said, let's get into this video. All right, welcome my babes. I am so excited that I'm finally getting a chance to sit down and film a video like this. I have been thinking about doing a monochromatic series forever on my channel where I just focus on a color and then that's what the makeup look is all around. Whether it's all green, all red, all yellow, all orange, and then featuring those products in my collection that I really love that are in that color category. So I do plan to have more videos of this come up in the future, like focusing on different colors. But of course I started off with green because I'm a green lover. That is my favorite color to wear on my eyes. And I have a lot of green eyeshadow palettes in my collection. I put on my green top, my green earrings. I even have like minty green, like dual chrome nails on because that is what I love. So, of course, I was going to start off with my favorite one first. So, I did pull a couple green makeup products that I really love in my collection. I have a lot of green eyeshadow palettes, so I picked some of the ones that I really love. I'm going to stop it on the eyes. I'm going to do a green lip, green highlighter, green eyeliner, green eyes. We're just going to have fun with some green. So, let me get a little closer. I did do my foundation already because, of course, I don't have green foundation because that, no, I'm not doing all of that. And I put on blush and bronzer, but everything else we're going to put on together. So I did prime my eyes already. I have the Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. I am not going to set it. So we are going to start off with the eyeshadow because that's what I like to do. I pulled the Beige Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette, one of my favorite green palettes that I have in my collection high quality like these were so good so i had to pull this out i haven't used this in a long time and i also pulled out the glam light dirty martini palette another very favorite green palette of mine i actually have a video where i talk about all my green palettes in my collection and i either showed my favorite or i ranked it i can't remember but i'll link that video below i'll put it up in the corner and maybe i might use this creepy crawly palette from unearthy it's like a little green quad yeah i don't know so we're gonna start off with the pistachio palette and I'm gonna go into cone or cup. Either one is fine with me as long as there's ice cream in it. Oh, I wish I could have some ice cream right now, but I've been trying to like eat healthy. So I haven't been eating ice cream unless it's keto ice cream, but I am going to now put that in the outer corner. These shadows are powdery, but they're so good. I'm so sad that I took it away. Like BH Cosmetics no longer offers these palettes they did like all different monochromatic ones like an all red one and all orange one and they were so good some of the best quality that came out from bh cosmetics but i think they said like they couldn't make the formula anymore like some of the ingredients were discontinued i feel like that's what they said i might be wrong but there was a reason why they couldn't continue to have this part of their collection so it's such a shame. This should have been part of a permanent collection because it's so, so good. I am going to go into, uh, is it Guilty Pleasure that I wanna use? I think Guilty Pleasure is the next, the next route we wanna go to. Like, look at that, so much comes up on the brush. And I'm gonna use that over the edge and like in here into the center. Oh my God, do you guys see that? Now let's get into the Dirty Martini palette from Glamlight. This was also so, so good. This whole collection, like the Happy Hour collection, was so dang good. Very high quality. And it's one of my most favorite green palettes. Like the options in here are so good. So I do want to do more tilly green on the lower lash line. Pull in some more cool tone into this. So I think I'm going to start off with Mix It Up. And I will probably blend it out with classic, this lighter teal. But I really want to just mix all the different types of greens. Well, 
This actually almost looks like the green on the outer corner up here, but once I go in with that lighter teal, I will definitely amp up the tealness of the color down here. Let's now go into a classic. Uh, I am really enjoying this already. That's how much I love this color and creating looks like this. Like if it was my choice, I would do a green look every day, but I'm like, okay, I need to like not get stuck in doing the same thing over and over. But if I had the choice, I definitely would. <laughs> so I'm just like kind of packing the lighter color in the front and then kind of going over the edge of the darker shade. So now I want to start getting into some of the shimmers. I'm gonna go into Gin right here and use that on the bottom just to emphasize more chilly goodness down there and bring some sparkle action. I'm gonna spray this brush and we're just gonna pop it like right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love having shimmer on the lower lash line. It just, to me, it's a necessary step, even though I know a lot of people only use mattes on their lower lash line, but come on, look how pretty that is. So just like keeping it mainly in like the front half. So I think that's good. Let's start doing some, well, no, you know what? Let me go into the creepy crawly palette now from Unearthy. I wanna use this neon yellow green and I wanna pop that in the front portion of the look, like really pack that on because I really want it a lot of yellowy goodness in the front. Oh. oh, this is so pretty in the pigmentation. I mean, it leans very yellow, but it is still a true like yellowy neon green shade. So I had to, I had to use this. Look, look how yellowy warm a green can get. That yellow just did something for the look. I do wanna go back into Dirty Martini and I think I wanna use a little bit of this on the rock shade in the inner portion too, but just like more on the bottom part. I just felt like I wanted it to be a little bit lighter in the inner portion on the bottom. So now I want to get into some shimmers on the lid. Now I did pull all of my green shadows from Cleona that are in the stained glass collection. Like I have all these different greens with different shifts. I thought we would use some of them. So I just grabbed all of them because I wasn't sure what kind of look I was gonna do but I'm thinking maybe this one right here. This one has like a blue shift to it. I feel like that would be beautiful on like the outer edge. This is called Trefoil, but look how stunning that is. All of the shades from Kiona are amazing. And I'm so happy they have so many beautiful greens. I think this is in the Jewel collection. I can't remember which uh, category it is in the stained glass collection, but this one is called Trefoil and it's gorgeous. I'm gonna spray it, but honestly, it doesn't even need to be sprayed because it's so smooth, but I'm gonna concentrate that uh, right here. Oh, do I wanna keep it more center? You know what? I'm gonna keep it more center actually and maybe do a darker shimmer closer to the mat. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be a little bit more darker, but I feel like it's meshing better with the green shade that's in the center. Now I wanna go into one more Cleona shade because I want something a little darker on the outer edge. So I'm going to use Oculus. This does have like a very strong like purple blue shift to it, but I feel like that's gonna look really good over more on the edge because I just wanted something a little bit darker this does have a black base. See, yeah, that's perfect going over like that darker matte. And you know, it's gonna throw in a little bit of purple and blue into the mix to add a little bit of interest. And like when you turn, it kind of adds like a little shadow, like depth from the, you know, shift. Oh, these are just so good and smooth. You honestly do not need to wet your brush. I just like doing that as an added step. But yeah, I just needed a little bit more darkness. Now I wanna get into the Glam Light Martini Palette and use Vodka Teeny. This is a like warm olive shade. I'm gonna use that in the inner portion. I'm just gonna spray the brush. And I think that's gonna look good with the more yellowy tone that's in the front. Oh yeah. 
See how we just have like a mix of cool tone and warmth? I think like using different undertones can mix really well together because you wouldn't think like warm tones and cool tones should all go into one look, but you can make it totally work. Now let's do the final touches. I wanna go into the pistachio palette from BH and go into Sweet Life as the inner corner pop. I think that's gonna mesh with the more like warm tone green on the front portion. And just keeping it right there. I'm not gonna really take it far up. I don't wanna take it over that beautiful yellow neon, which I feel like I need to bring a little bit more of that back. But I just wanted to use that as the brightening inner corner shade. Now for a finishing touch, let's do a brow bone highlight. So I'm gonna go into the Unearthy Creeps and Crawl palette and use the shade Spun. I feel like this is more of like a minty green shade, but I feel like it will be fine since we have a mix of cool tones and warm tones and it will mesh with like the more cool tone shades we have on the outer edge here. See how it just definitely more on the minty end, like a minty icy shade, which is perfect for highlighting the brow bone. So that is it for the shadows and the palettes. Let's get on with the rest of the look. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite liners to use in the waterline. This is from LA Girl. This is the Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner in Dragon. I use this a lot when I'm doing like more like tealy colors on the lower lash line. It's so good. It's one of my favorite green liners. And I knew it was just gonna mesh with the shade on the lower lash line so well. It's so creamy and it lasts all day. I love these metallic liners from LA Girl and they're so affordable. I know some of their Shockwave eyeliners can dry out, but so far all of mine have lasted. Like they've all been doing the job. I also really love the LA Girl liner and Gotcha. Like if I want more of a green like this, this one is not in the metallic formula, but it's also another favorite green liner of mine they're so freaking good and so freaking affordable so now i want to i think do some highlighter on my face before i finish off the look i was gonna do a liner detail but i think i want to leave the look alone because it's so pretty so another favorite green makeup product of mine is this from kaleidos this is their laser glazer highlighter this was part of their space age highlighters and they decided to discontinue this specific color which makes me so sad I honestly think they should bring this back, but I don't know, maybe it's not that popular. I don't know. I guess a lot of people aren't into going in with a green highlighter, but it's so good. I'll show you guys how it swatches. It's like a goldy green. It's so pretty. And honestly, I feel like pretty wearable for a green highlighter, but I'm gonna put that on the cheeks. I just put on like a very nudie blush because I wanted the focus to be green. Like, I look like, an alien goddess but look at that oh my gosh it's so pretty i wish i did not discontinue this so now that i'm highlighted up i think we should go into a lippy and then i'll finish the eye look off camera because you don't need to see me putting liner and mascara on but i pulled three of my favorite green lippies that are in my collection i used to have one from black moon cosmetics that was in there like harvest trio i forgot the name of it but i love that one but it expired but i'm probably going to purchase it again but i have these three i have two from unearthy this is more of an olivey green this one is so good this is in mandy one of my favorites and then i have this other unearthy one this is a i think liquid lipstick I don't think it's a satin, but this is in ghoulish. This one was from their Halloween mystery box. And then I have this one from Kaleidos called Agave, which I guess this is more of a blue. Well, like a teal, like a bluey teal. So I'm thinking the best color for this look is the ghoulish shade, which I don't think you can purchase this anymore, but it's a beautiful green. Love it so much. So we're just going to slap it on. Yes, like I said, monochromatic vibes here. 
All right, love. So here is the lippy. What do you guys think of this color? It's a very like cool tone, deep forest, like black and green shade. It's really pretty. It's very bold, but it goes so well with this green eye look. Like everything is pairing so nicely together. And I would totally go out right now and rock this look and feel so confident and fierce in it. Now, I know not everybody would feel comfortable going this green and this bold. I mean, of course, you could totally like rock an eye look like this with a nudie lip to tone things down or you could wear this lippy with like a nude look or no shadow and just mascara that would also look very fierce because this shade is perfect for the fall season but i did also go ahead and finish off the eye look i went and used the birdie lashes mascara and the bad girl bang mascara and the la girl jet setter liquid eyeliner to create a wing i figured i could just do that quickly once i finished my lippy off and that is it for this very green monochromatic look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun playing with some green makeup that i haven't touched in a while like all these palettes are absolutely stunning green palettes but i mean there's a lot of good green eyeshadow palettes out there like i said i have a whole video on favorite green eyeshadow palettes definitely check that out if you want other options to check out and then the kaleidos laser glazer highlighter like this is the most beautiful green goldy highlighter that exists i'm sure there's something similar out there but i'm gonna hold on to this one and cherish it forever i just wish kaleidos would bring this back because it looks so pretty and it's a wearable green highlighter at least in my opinion and using my cleona shadows and you know the slippy i just had so much fun so hopefully this is something you guys want to continue to see on my channel like more monochromatic looks I could do like a red one a yellow one an orange look a pink look a purple blue I probably do blue next because that's like my second favorite color to wear but you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below did you enjoy this video do you want to see more monochromatic looks on my channel and like what is your favorite color to wear I would love to hear from all of y'all and if you're new here and you enjoy this video you like a lot of fun colorful makeup content you like a lot on indie makeup and all that fun stuff then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family also don't forget to check out the description below i will link all the makeup that is still available that i use in today's video as well as like what's on my face foundation and all of that in case you're curious i'll link other videos of mine you might be interested in watching and i will have my contact and my social media platforms i'm also on instagram as breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty so if you want to join my instagram fam i would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here for supporting me just being amazing i appreciate you guys all so much and i just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world and i'm just sending you guys so much light and love but until next time bye guys